<laughs> Am I ready to explore Scotland? <laughs> Alrighty, welcome to Scotland everybody. It's so good to be back here. Welcome to Scotland, Bobs. Yay! Oh my goodness, we are a little bit windswept. We had 10 minutes to walk from the train station to our apartment that we're staying here in Edinburgh and the rain was coming and I was like, Stephen, we have to go, we've just made it. I feel like the wind has completely like, just blown us away. <laughs> yeah, we just checked in. We're staying at the Braided Apartments and they are actually run by the same guys who do the apartments that we stayed in in London. They're called the Mansley, so Mansley Serviced Apartments. And it was so nice, we were booked in for a studio and they upgraded us to a one bedroom. So we have a one bedroom apartment here in Edinburgh and it is so nice, go show them the kitchen. It is so nice having like a full little kitchen and lounge area. We have a view of Edinburgh. And I think they knew we were coming because <laughs> we have all the coffees. <laughs> I want to see the view from outside. Oh dear, I'm not very good at opening these, am I? Steve, help me. So we're currently staying in Newtown, Edinburgh, down a cute little lane. Oh, we even have like the little taxis coming past. But yeah, I like it. We are kind of off the main street, which is nice. So we're so a bit sheltered from everyone. But yeah, we're like a five minute walk away from Old Town, which is where I want to go and explore, like very soon. But yeah, this is like our little space. And then down the corridor, there is the bathroom. And then we have a bedroom. And I feel like they've got the whole Scottish theme down because it looks like it a purple Scottish kilt, which is nice, like how they've done all of this. But yeah, we got our own one bedroom, which is nice, rather than the studio. Got a bit of a desk there and a gigantic cupboard. But I saw next door, did you see what was there? A little vegan cafe. Really? Yeah. Right next door. Do you want to go grab a coffee? Yeah, that sounds good. Lying with you under starlight. Good morning everybody, welcome back to Edinburgh. Yesterday we had a massive storm hit Edinburgh, which of course is not that um, rare. <laughs> <laughs> not that uncommon for winter here in Scotland. But we've come out now the next day and it's dry. It's <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> like we're looking for a little bit of hope, but yeah, it's dry. We're going to see how much we can see because Google is telling us that the weather's going to get worse throughout the day. So We're trying to see as much as we can right now. We're coming to Old Town, which is my favourite part of Edinburgh. And this is just the best place to walk around. So when you're walking through Edinburgh, you can see so many inspirations for Harry Potter because of course JK Rowling wrote the books here and one of them is Victoria Street. I Our think favourite street in Edinburgh. Yes, because it kind of curves around, it looks like Diagon Alley a little bit and there's some colourful buildings. <laughs> <laughs> am I ready to explore Scotland? <laughs> Hi, I am ready to explore. <laughs> so bad. Let us know whose accent was better. <laughs> I do love the effort to cash in on everyone currently walking around looking for the elephant house. Okay, now this is the proper cafe if you guys were interested to come here. So we've just found this little street side cafe. It's just down this little alleyway. It's off the main street, so it's quite easy to find, but you're hidden away from everyone. But winter is officially hitting Scotland. So all I feel like is a soup and a sandwich. And the soup of the day was mushroom. And it just needs to like warm us up so we can go out and explore. So you come up to the Edinburgh Castle, and even if you don't want to go inside, because it's about 16 pounds to get inside, it's still a very beautiful view from up here. You can get a view of both Old Town and also this town just here. Guys, that Scottish storm came right through and we made it back to the apartment just in time. So we just decided to have a bit of a chill, had a bit of a relax. Someone decided to have a snooze. <laughs> but now it's a bit later in the afternoon and we've decided to cook up some dinner. I am making stir fry. You know what's really funny? Just before, so we never look back at old vlogs. Edinburgh happens to be just one of the cities where we are revisiting. So we've actually vlogged Edinburgh before. It was around three years ago that we were here and I was watching it back and it was so cute. So Edinburgh was like one of our first cities we ever visited in Europe. So I'm watching the video and first of all, Stephen is super excited because he's making an espresso for the first time with like an espresso machine. We have an espresso machine. We've never used one of these before. But also we're getting really excited because in the video, it's the first time we're seeing a castle. It's the first time we're seeing like an old like historical city because before then we'd only really been to America and to Australia where it's like so much of a younger countries. 
Oh, it's really, really cute. I feel like I need to like link that one back because it, it's so different to the videos now. But I don't know, it kind of shows like where we've come, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> it was kind of interesting to rewatch that Edinburgh vlog. Especially blog. for you with like the B-roll differences. Yeah, if anyone <laughs> out there who's an inspiring like videographer or filmmaker who wants to make vlogs like we do and you're just looking at your content, wow, just have a look. Go on a trip down memory lane on our <laughs> channel for three years. Shows how much you've learned. Yeah, it shows so how much practice makes better videos. But um, we've kind of been obsessed with M&S Food Hall because traveling with a, an apartment, it's been so easy to just pick up some goods and cook and feel yeah. like you're making home comfort. So. And then this is like really healthy options that are so cheap. Like I think all of our dinner tonight costs six pounds. So it's like three pounds each for dinner. And it comes with like a big bag of veggies. We've got some noodles and the sauce. I know there's like all the different things where it's like easy to cook things at home. How's the stir fry? Mmm, I reckon's good. Yeah? Try some like chili on it. Chili and lemongrass and coconut. Mmm. Tastes like a Thai Yeah, kind of stir that's why I'm for a Thai stir fry. Mm. So this afternoon when we're running away from the rain, we were hiding inside a bookstore and then we were having a look at their board game section and then we saw a game. If you guys have been following us for a while, you know how much I love board games. I kind of collect them and at home I have like like over 50 board games probably. Oh my gosh, we need and to show them under the bed. Also, I feel like we haven't done this style of vlogging where we've just chatted to you guys I know, in I feel like so long. It's we because it's winter and this is like what I feel like doing in the winter. I feel like making a meal and playing a board game. And so we picked up this game. I've heard about it, but I've never played it. It's called Exploding Kittens. And it basically says that it's kind of like Uno, except you're trying to make yourself not explode and you're a kitten or to stop the kittens from exploding or something like that. Also, so, yeah. this kind of trip, we've been wanting to get our friends presents. Oh yeah. So and we Ashley, wanted to- <laughs> this is your present. We really, <laughs> wanted to not open it. I know, and then it was like, you know, it's just one of those days and I was like, Steve, can we open Ashley's present and play it? I should have bought two, because now I'm going to want one. <laughs> we're, we're finding the rules out for you, Ashley. Yeah, and then we can play it with you. It's just already even open. Guys, just one. But <laughs> Ashley can confirm that your present is indeed fun. It is very fun. <laughs> By the way, for dessert, I've made us spotted dip. <laughs> I've never had it before, but it's, uh, I don't know, it sounded very UK-ish, very British-y. I've so, never um, had it before. Spotted dick. It's just fun to say. I am about to eat some spotted... Do you want to demonetize this video? <laughs> oh, so it's spotted because it is full of sultanas Yum. and raisins. This looks like a cake with... Uh, so, have you ever had this many sultanas in a cake before? This is... Guys... This is what spotted dick looks like if you've always wanted to know. That is the last time <laughs> we can say that word. Mmm. You know what? This is really good. It tastes like Christmas. Yeah, it does a little bit. Mmm. See you I guys like in that. the morning. <laughs> Good morning everybody and welcome back to Edinburgh. Today we are catching a train right down to Brighton and we're actually jumping on the Virgin First Class so we thought we'd show you guys around what you actually get included with this. Now of course we are currently using our brick rail passes which we picked up for our entire Europe trip so we get first class seats included which is really nice but yeah let's show you guys what the train's gonna be like. So we're currently making our way towards Brighton and to get into Brighton from Edinburgh it's kind of like a two trip journey so the first one will be getting us towards London Euston which is kind of like the main national rail line but I feel like I'm gonna have to do this next bit voiceover for you guys because it's quite a quiet train and I don't want to interrupt anyone by being rude and talking on the vlog but um, yeah because we have our brick rail pass this is included this journey all the way down to London and uh, you can reserve seats if you like but We've been using this for the last couple of weeks now. We haven't needed to reserve any seats, so we just walk up and down the aisles, just put our bags down. I would suggest that you guys put your bags down as soon as possible because the baggage space can fill up quite quickly, we found. And then we look for seats that aren't reserved. We've actually been pretty good on finding seats together, which has been nice. So yeah, it's a full service train. We were served kind of brunch before. They have a menu throughout the day and we've also been offered pretzels, drinks multiple times. And I'd say it's better than aeroplane food. I had a nice cheese and mushroom toasting before. I think it's crazy that at noon we can be in one country and then we can go all the way to another country in like four or five hours time. Toilet door locked. You guys were interested, they didn't have a bath. It's me. The toilet. I 
just wanted to ask, I mean, I knew what I was getting myself into when I applied to be a toilet. Yeah, it's a great job. Yeah, <laughs> so five hour train, and there is a bathroom and a toilet, so. <laughs> Alrighty, everybody, welcome to London. We now just need to jump on the underground to Victoria Station to make our transfer. And then we should jump back on our train, make our way down south, and then we should be in Brighton. Alrighty guys, just a few hours later, we are now back in Brighton. We just travelled across the all of England. <laughs> and Scotland, pretty much. <laughs> but uh, I feel like the sun is going down way earlier oh than before. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it's already dark. I know. It's crazy, we just checked into our hotel. We'll show it to you tomorrow morning. It is a really, really nice place. Really cosy, really like quirky. But the view. Oh, I cannot wait. This is so cool. But now we're going out for dinner. We're going to the Chili Pickle, having Indian. I feel like I haven't had Indian in years, yes. so I'm kind of excited for this. Okay. Alrighty guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Wait, they're gonna go on and know what the Indian food tasted like. Oh, it was good. It, it was, was good. so good and it had been so long since we had garlic naan. Oh, yeah. If you feel yes. like Indian and you're in a Brighton, go check it out. It was really, really what good. What did we have? We had like a Sri Lankan sea bass? I, I don't know, in an Sri Indian Lankan... restaurant? I don't know why. It but was it was really, really good. <laughs> But uh, yeah, we're pretty much here in Brighton for the next few days. We'll give you a proper room tour of our quirky little accommodation we're staying in in the next vlog. So if you are new around here, make sure you hit subscribe and we'll see you guys next time. Bye! I've always wanted to do this. Good morning guys, we're currently sitting on Brighton Beach, about to have some breakfast. The weather is just so pretty today. What have we ordered? <laughs> Where do you start? <laughs> A little boxy, me, ticky tacky, little boxy, come to kill.